Hello peoples. In today's video, we're going to review a couple more tools for you to use in Star Citizen that can help you find stuff in the verse. If you remember, I did a video similar to this one several weeks ago, and it was pretty popular with some subscribers suggesting I check out the ones that we're going to look at today. Other community members created these tools and they made them free for us to use. Keep that in the back of your mind. I think it's awesome that we have a community like that for a game that's not even released. As always, if you like and enjoy the content, then please hit that like button, the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel as it will feed the YouTube algorithm and help me continue to bring you the content that you like. Don't forget that referral code in the video description below. If you've not yet opened up an account with Star Citizen, that's your chance to get some free stuff when you use it. For a snack, pick something that you like and enjoy. For myself, it's going to be a salad as I'm still paying for the holidays. Pick a beverage that you also like and will consume. I'm going with some bi flavored water, coconut, because I like coconut. Now, sit back, relax, put your feet up, and let's get to it. So, the first site that we're going to take a look at is put out by a org called Cornerstone. Um, go to Google's, type in Star Citizen Cornerstone, and pretty much the first link that you see there that has universal item finder in it is going to be the one that you want to use if you're looking to say hi let them know that you appreciate their hard work in making this tool go to the uh, rsi website and uh, you can look them up got 128 members i don't know if they're active i don't know if they're recruiting or anything like that but if they are and you want to join uh you know send them a request and maybe they'll take you in if we use the link, we're going to go to their website for their members and stuff. We want to look at resources, basically. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Universal Item Finder. And we've got a couple quick links right here. Uh, the one that I thought was really kind of neat uh, is this planetary survey thing. So it's going to give you this nice little graphic of the Stratton system. You can click on Stratton. It'll give you some historical information. You've got your different planetary bodies that you can look at. So if we go to Crusader, we've got the moons in Crusader. If you click on a different moon, they've got all of the outposts and everything that are on said moon. And they do this for all of them. If you click on and drill down into the outposts, it'll tell you what they have for services, facilities, that kind of stuff. I thought it was kind of nice. It's pretty, uh, pretty nice little graphic that they got. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and go to the oops, Universal Item Finder. And this right here is uh, basically a database lookup for, it's like a combination. If you were to take the ship component information and weapon information from Urkel, where they tell you where to go get it, how much it's gonna cost, and the website for the armory, which does your FPS stuff, it's all in one, sh one shot. And it's pretty slick how they did it. So they've got a universal search uh, you just need to key in a couple um, letters of whatever it is that you're looking for. We'll take Titan here, uh, and it'll pop up what you're looking for, basically. So if we wanted to buy it, we'd click on that. It tells you where to go to get it, how much it's going to cost, brief description, and they got a nice pick of the item for you. High-resolution image. Always like that. So what we're going to do is go back. And now we got a little bit more refined search here. These, these are all uh, detailed searches for these specific items. And they've got a, you know, pretty much everything covered. So for armory, your FPS, you can just click on helmets there. And what you can do is you can go in, you can type right here, for example, your uh, cu first couple letters and uh, get your list refined down. So in this case, we'll go for the morning star helmet you click on the morning star helmet and again location how much it's going to cost the stats and a, a nice little pick with a description works out pretty good this little icon that you see right here the little star well that's your favorite star it's the favorite button and if you click on that it's going to put it into your favorites and you can call that back at any point in time when you get back so right here you see where it says your favorite item items just click on it notice that we have that Morning Star helmet uh, listed. So that'll help you build out your equipment. Doesn't matter what type of equipment it is. It could be ship components, 
Could be armor, torso. We'll do the same thing. We'll go in here, get rid of this old one here. And let's see, let's pick ADP core gray. And we'll add that. Notice we've got our prices, where we can get it, what it's gonna do. Nice little pick. And then because that's part of our favorites now, when we go back, just that simple. Now we got two of them. So you can build out your shopping list if you want. If you want to take care and remove it, just hit that little X button and that'll remove the item, obviously. Okay, enough of that. So now another thing, uh, they've got mining equipment, mining lasers. Now one of the things that I noticed is uh, when you go into the, just the general search, right, they've got all the picks available with this little uh, icon for thumbnails. So you can just look at it if you want to see it. Uh, some of the items that I noticed that are not in Urkel, now Urkel is still, you know, they just did a major upgrade and everything. So they're trying to refine their database and everything. But like the Lancet uh, MH2 mining lasers, they're not listed in Urkel. But here, you click on it, tells you where to go. I verified at HURL1 that they have them and that they pretty much cost what they got listed here. Gives you all the modifiers, all that good stuff, and of course your pick. So, yeah, pretty good little site. Uh, very slick interface, I think. You know, nice little web GUI and everything. And they've got a lot of stuff all set up. Now, if you want to, you know, do your search by location, let's say you're in a specific area, like uh, by Genie Point, right, the cargo center. Just click on that and then go to location and then everything that you could get there. So it's it's very convenient how you can do your searches uh, with this little tool. Uh, so again, if you get the opportunity, if you're having trouble finding something, you know, put this link in your bookmarks, go check it out. And uh, if you like what you see, you know, uh, leave them a little thank you. Because again, they don't have to share this out. It could be just for them or their org members, but they're allowing people uh, that aren't part of the org to use their resources and uh, kind of harvest the fruits of their labor. So show your appreciation by letting them know, if at all possible. So now what we're going to do is move on to the next site. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at United Express Corporation, or UEX. Again, go to Google's, type in Star Citizen UEX. That'll give you the link that you need to go to. Uh, you'll find a link in the video description below for this site if you uh, can't or won't use Google's. Uh, usually the first one works. If we go take a look at the RSI website, let me center this a little bit, uh, we see that they are a corporation with 71 members. I don't know if they're active. I don't know if they're recruiting, uh, but never know. Hit them up if you're looking for a home. Maybe they'll take you in. If we go to their actual website, uh, again, let, let's see if we can center this a little bit better. Uh, you can see that the magic here is going to be in these tabs. Now, this is a database search. Uh, nothing new about that, but for some of you old-timers like myself that were probably using spreadsheets or worse, using uh, pen and paper to keep track of the best trade routes, uh, where to go to mine, where to go to refine, all that good stuff, well, it's done for you right here, and it's done in a nice little gooey package. We'll take a look at trade. Again, I'm not going to go through this too in-depth, but just enough to give you an overview. Uh, so going across the top here, we've got our uh, commodities that we want to buy. Uh, let's pick something pretty generic like Laranite. What's really slick about this is you can put in your ship. They've got a pretty good size uh, list, so we'll take the Adventure Titan. It's automatically filled in the maximum number of units that you can buy and sell uh, for that ship. We've got our Laranite. We've got the lowest buy price and the highest sell price gets that from this trade point section down here. So we'll just fill those in. You can always change that. Let's say you don't want to do any uh, trading in Crusader. You could pick Arc or you could pick um, Microtech and do the same thing. If you want to get real nitty gritty, you can put in your expenses. So for a Titan, let's say it only cost us 200 for fuel. And for our trip time, let's say I started at 6 o'clock and I ended at 6.10 to make this trade. So everything's already been calculated out for you. It's a uh, medium risk because you're not really traveling with a ton 
invested, it's only 21,000 and some change. To buy it, you're gonna sell it for 24,000 and some change. You got a 14.55% margin, which is not bad. You stand to net yourself a total of uh, 2,952 profit. Now, if you hover over that, you're gonna see that if you have a crew of two, three, or four, what to split that out to so that you don't have to do the maths. Pretty good. Then down here, you can do things like add this to a list. Now, what that does is it allows you to compare things like, well, if you picked a different ship, uh, would it be more profitable because you're hauling more cargo? Keep in the back of your mind that this is taking the very rosy situation of you are able to completely fill said cargo bay. So if you get crazy and pick something like a uh, Idris, <laughs> you're not going to fill that up. It's just not going to happen. Notice it's not available in game, but it's an example. So now, if we go back to our Avenger Titan, what you would really use this for, I think, which is slick, is you can pick your trade route that you want to use. So let's say we got done with, you know, uh, hauling the Laranite, and I was going to pick something like, um, let's see here, agricultural supplies. Okay, we'll do that. So we've got agricultural supplies. I'm going to try to buy them at as low a margin as, as possible. And as you can see here, it's telling you basically, no, you, you, you don't want to do it. Okay, when you get done with your expense here of 200, which is pretty low, uh, you're not really going to make any profit at all hauling agricultural supplies no supplier no no surprise right so we can go down here we'll do distilled spirits now we're talking we're getting back up to something a little bit better and let's try to stay in the same area let's see if we can do that here's horse we'll go there yeah we'll do that uh and then you can build out your trade route so you could just continue to keep adding this in right filling it out and trying to get a decent trade route going. Uh, and then that way you could always come back and reference it here. So they do the same thing with mining. Basically, you've got your minerals up here that you can mine. We'll stick with Laranite for now. Uh, this is gonna be the price for raw ore, price for the refined ore. Uh, basically, if you wanna get real nitpicky, you can put in the mass of the rock that you're mining, the uh, percentage of or that that rock has, let's do 86%. Uh, it'll tell you how much SCU cargo space you're gonna need. And then it's gonna tell you where to find this ore, right down in here. Now, if you hit this little show refineries button, it'll show you where you need to go and get it refined at, okay? Not bad, pretty slick. Now, if we wanna check out the refining section, just click on the refining tab. Let's pick Laranite again. Uh, so you can type in the amount of laranite that you want to refine. You can put in where you're going to refine it at, right? So let's do CRUL1. And then you can pick your refining method. So they've got all the methods listed. I think, uh, I think that one right there is the best. And yeah, we'll do this one. Um, and then again, just like with the mining and trading, you can add it to list. And it'll tell you, you know, your refining time, your costs, your profit margins, all that good stuff. So it's not bad. Location is a little bit of the same thing. Uh, this is where you're going to go and you're going to look at a specific location to figure out how much of the commodities are currently being, uh, are available for purchase or sell. Some won't have any because somebody's already done a run on them or you go to... Um, another place where basically they're asking for a lot of different things and it gives you the SCU amount that they're asking for. Now, commodities, same thing, only it's, it's specific to, it's like a refined search engine. If you just want to find out where to go and do your gold, basically it's going to tell you this is, this is the locations. This is what they have for SCU and, uh, your best chance for getting in there and trying to buy it. Not necessarily the best price to buy it at, but the fact that they have the most, which could be of interest to you. They've got harvestables too. 
They've got your routes. Same thing for the routes. This is telling you the average trade for SCU amounts, what the uh, time, estimated time for that to get replenished is, and obviously the trade route that you want to use. So this would be the buy at, sell at location. All that good stuff. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, with a little bit of luck, this was some website tool that you weren't aware of that now you are. I encourage you to go check them out. Leave them a comment. Let them know that you uh, appreciate the fact that they took the time and energy to build this up so that you don't have to. It's always good to do. I think it's fascinating that uh, Star Citizen has this type of community where people are so passionate about it that they build these uh, slick-looking tools. They take the time and energy to do it, and they make them available for not just themselves or their org mates, but everybody else, which is really nice. So if you have uh, any suggestions on any other tools that maybe I haven't covered here that uh, also offer a real slick interface and all that good stuff, uh, put them in the comment section below. And hopefully we'll do another video in the future and cover it. Uh, until next time, take care.